In this video, let's work on the assignment number two, create a root ball component. So let's jump into Visual Studio and let's start creating the root ball component. A uh, root ball component is considered as a page. That's why it's also called page component. So you can right click on the page folder and then add a razor component. Like I mentioned before, a blazer component is technically called a razor component. And because it's a root ball component, I don't want to keep the suffix component here. So let's just delete it. And I'm going to call it added server. And automatically it create a title for me. I can add a space here for now. And do you remember how to make a component root ball? That's by using the page directive. So I'm going to say add sign page followed by the URL. So URL here, I'm just going to say servers and slash edit. Right. For now, I'm going to use the edit word. And later when we learn about parameters, we're going to replace this. Okay. And the second requirement for the assignment is to have a link from each one of the server to this new rootable component. So let's go to servers page component here and let's look at this list of servers here. So we have a LI element. Here I can add a space here and after that I can add this link here. So it's going to be a anchor element. So href is going to be pointing to our added server rootable component. So slash and servers and edit. The class here is going to be btn and btn link. So this will look like a link inside the element here. We're going to spell out the word edit and let's give it a try and see how it looks like and how it works all right we have a space here and we have a edit button right here so when we click on it it takes us to this root ball component and if we go back click on another one we see this so every single one of them takes us to this edit server component eventually we're going to implement this right now it's empty and that's fine let's take this chance to actually add a link right here because every time you want to go to the servers page we have to manually enter it so let's try to fix this do you still remember where this comes from right the left hand side is a sidebar so it is located in our layout folder and then if we go to our main layout we can see our sidebar but this sidebar is a component so if we right click on it and go to definition, it will take us to the place where the component is defined. And that is actually still in the layout folder. It is nav menu component. And if you pay attention here, we have nav link. Each one of them goes to a different place. So this one goes to the home component and this one goes to the weather component. And how does it do it? It uses the href go to the relative pass. So what we can do is we can copy and paste. And then this one, we're going to call it servers or let's call it manage servers. And this is going to take us to the servers path. You can do it this way or you can add a slash here. It should all work. Okay, let's run the application again just to verify that everything works as expected. We see this manage servers link right here and we can still go to weathers, come back to manage servers and go to edit and come back over here. Okay, that's everything I want to show you in this video. I will see you in the next one.